Now that we have laid the framework for creating a classroom that's conducive to choice, it's time to talk about setting up your centers. The first center that I like to, to introduce is the drawing center. It is something that's very familiar for our students, and so it's a great one to start with. If you check out this handout that we have in your resources, it's a supply list for your drawing center. I start out with things such as paper, fine line markers, broad line markers, oil pastels. Those are some of the basic supplies that you would like to have. Um, these are a few essentials that I use often, but as the year goes on, you may want to bring out things such as charcoal pencils or metallic Sharpies, just different things to get your students re-engaged and just change things up just a little bit for them. A few other supplies that you may want to have in your drawing center besides items that your students can draw with are maybe observation things such as these here an old baseball, things from nature. Texture sheets are also a great addition to your drawing center. You can show your students ways to use them to enhance their artwork. They can draw mannequins. You need your rulers there. And I like to offer self-portrait mirrors as well so students can observe themselves and work on self-portraits. Now paper is a huge expense. So creating a system that works for you is very important, and it definitely depends on your budget as well. I like to get 90 pound drawing paper, um, but if you have donations, that is helpful. One way that I save paper in my classroom, I like to use copy paper for sketch paper. And you can call it sketch paper. In my case, I like to call it level one. So students start with level one paper to sketch ideas, explore. When they have an idea that they're ready to do, that's their final idea, I give them level two paper. But you could just also call it their final paper. So you have sketch paper, and then your final paper, or you could say level one, level two, whatever works for you. But those are great ways to limit waste in your classroom. Because as students explore, they will go through lots of paper. But that's why I like to get donations for my level one paper or even copy paper and use the 90 pound paper for my final draft or the, like I like to say, level two paper. In the next video, we're going to talk about how to set up your drawing center.